In this short but concise video, we're going to break down and explain large language models in a very simple manner. Whether you have a technical background or not, this will make sense to you, I promise. We'll take a look at the building blocks of large language models like parameters and run file and how you can download a large language model like the Llama 2 by Meta AI and run it into your own local machine and interact with it without the need for internet. We'll compare Llama 2 and ChatGPT, the parameters and the nuances to understand the difference between them and how they work. This is the first video of a video series I'm creating about a large language model that's based on the following resources. The first one is the Our Talk Intro to Large Language Models presentation that Dr. Andre Karpati made um, and you can check out his website at karpati.ai. He has a wealth of experience in the AI space from initially being at OpenAI and then to Tesla and now back at OpenAI. So he gave this incredible talk about intro to long language models. If you have time, please feel free to check it out. It's really um, very informative. And then the second resource is going to be a published research paper on archive.org uh, by the following distinguished individuals, which there's a lot of them, so I, I won't be able to delete the whole thing. Uh, but this paper is incredible because this goes through the process of explaining how large language models work and the trustworthiness on them. And then finally, the third one is going to be promptingguide.ai. This is also a really great resource if you want to know more about large language models and uh, general tips for designing prompts. So you can think of large language models like ChatGPT as advanced algorithms designed to understand, generate, and interact with human language at a large scale. That's essentially the gist of it. So these models are trained on insane amounts of text data, a chunk of the internet, let's say, enabling them to grasp the nuances of language, including grammar, context, and even the ability to extrapolate meaning from incomplete information. I'm sure you have run into this when using ChatGPT, where you have typed the wrong sentence or misspelled words, but ChatGPT has the ability to still grasp the meaning of that sentence and provide the proper response. So this capability is utilized in a wide range of applications from chatbots to virtual assistants to content creation and summarization and so on and so forth. Once trained, these models can be fine-tuned with a smaller data set for specific tasks or domains like legal, medical, or technical language and other uh, domains as well, enhancing their performance on specialized applications. I'll go through the training and the pre-training and all those details in another video, but for now I want to make sure I keep this about large language models and their introduction or how they work. So large language models can be broken down into two elements, parameters and the run files. Parameters are the learned attributes from training data that improve prediction accuracy. I'll go into more details in a little bit because parameters are the magic behind large language models. So the second run file are basically lines of code used to run or deploy the model and it could be a Python script or um, simple C language like 500 lines uh, for code for Llama 2, for example. So let's take a look at Llama 2, for example, right? Uh, so you can come to llama.meta.com, and this is where all the details of Llama is provided. You can actually download the model here, but before that, you want to go through and take a look at the tools and then a few guides, because they have provided some really good guides on how Llama 2 works. You can click on Llama 2. So this is where all of the research and guide will be provided to you on the technical specification and how the Llama works. We'll come back to this in a little bit as I explain parameters because this is very important to understand these things. There's lots of details on the benchmarks and how the language model works in general. But let's go back to parameters. So artificial intelligence and specifically in large language models, parameters are the building blocks of a language model, enabling it to learn from data and create text. So the quantity of these parameters acts as a measure of models complexity and its ability to handle tasks. Basically, the higher the count typically indicates greater potential for nuanced understanding and text generation. So parameters in the context of AI model can be likened to synopsis in the human brain, right? So just as parameters are the elements through which a language model learns from data and makes prediction or generates text, synopsis are the points of connection between neurons in our brains where learning occurs and information is transmitted. So each synapse in our brain allows for the passage of electrical or chemical signals between the neurons, facilitating learning and memory by strengthening or weakening these connections based on our experiences. So similarly, an AI model, parameters are adjusted during training to minimize errors in predictions or generation, effectively learning from the data it is exposed to. So the larger the number of the parameters or synapses, 
the greater the model or brain's capacity to learn and process complex information. So let's compare the parameters of LAMA2 versus ChatGPT. So LAMA 270B model, which is released by Meta AI, it's a part of the LAMA series, second iteration, which is why it's called LAMA 2. Uh, this model has the largest series, which boasts uh, 70 billion parameters. Um, it has other counterparts, so the previous ones were the 13 billion parameter and then the 7 billion parameter as well. The LAMA 270B model is particularly popular because it's one of the most powerful models with open weights available today. So Meta has made the weights, the architecture, and the accompanying paper publicly accessible, enabling anyone to work with the model independently. Uh, so this level of accessibility kind of contrasts the LAMA 2 uh, from other language models like ChatGPT, where the architecture of ChatGPT still remains proprietary to OpenAI. Uh, but users could interact with the model via web interface without direct access to the model itself. However, in Llama, you can actually download this onto your local machine and have a local interaction with it without the need to have a user interface like a web browser. You basically run the file and work on it on your own local computer. So comparison to ChatGPT, for example, now ChatGPT4, which is the most popular large language model, has 1.76 trillion parameters. So you can see compared to the other models like Llama 2, it's extremely powerful. Therefore, it has way more data that it's been trained on, and that's why it's so popular and very useful. So the previous models for ChatGPT3, it had 170 billion parameters, and ChatGPT2 had 1.5 billion parameters. So you can see the difference between Chat GPT 2 to 3, it's a 10x, and then also same thing between Chat uh, GPT 3 to 4, it's another 10x when it comes to the amount of data or parameters that it has been trained on. All right, so that's basically the introduction of large language models and how they work. Obviously, there's a lot into this, so next video I'm going to go in details on how large language models like Llama 2 and ChatGPT are trained on these parameters and how the chunk of the internet or the contextual data that it's being trained upon, how is that obtained. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.